What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we met the brush god of Inferno, Moegami. And now we have the power of fire on our side. Let's have some fun. So we actually have fire in this fight. So let's fight. Let's have a fire fight, I guess. And let me burn this one again, because he's still got ice on him for some reason. And that is going to kill him, but let's see if I can... Oh, I messed that up. Alright, well, you know what? It's okay. I am going to throw the foil finisher on this guy. And fire, 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 fire. Two demon fangs. Thank you. Oh, and plenty of money. And our rank. Perfect on time and damage. We get yet another treasure chest, which gives us... The Lips of Ice. So what we lack is the Eyeball of Fire and the Black Demon Horn. Let's melt our way through here, and this actually puts us in the kitchen. So we could give our ingredients to Ujimi now, but I'm going to pass up on that. And instead, head over this way. Because, now that we have taken care of that... Well, first things first, every single time you get an ingredient, something appears in one of these little uh, pots. So let's get this clover out of here, and this clover is going to net us 30 preys, which is awesome. Now let's head up this direction. And we're going to want to water spout our way up. And now we can go melt that ice that was on the other side of the bridge. However, the bridge itself is out. Whoops, who is that that broke this bridge again? Well, I mean, you are actually heavier than you look. That power of yours could easily handle a broken bridge. But why don't you think about going on a diet? Isu, that is no way to talk to a woman. You are going to get hit so hard in a minute. Anyway, let's do the thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again with more gusto goodness all right so burn through that let's head on through here so we have another devil gate let's take this thing on and another new enemy however this one's a little bit easier to fight because well we already have the power to counter him with we actually have two but only one we can actually use during this fight if you couldn't tell his weaknesses are going to be water and well wind but even more awesome is we can actually use the fire on him to take care of this these ice lips right here so now that they're stunned and then he just went right through me and took away some of my godhood let's use his fire to get the full finisher on this guy and then use wind to take care of his fire and start attacking stun him well away and then his full finisher is wind that wasn't so bad and upon defeating him we're given another treasure chest wow that was so quick the eyeball of fire is ours, although that doesn't look very fiery, it just looks like eyeball. I don't know. Either way, let's head on in here, and we have a key in here. We also have a treasure chest, I um, mean, oh, we actually have three treasure chests, nice. However, we're only, we're not supposed to be able to get any of these at the moment. However, I can fix that, trust me. There are camera tricks, such as this, to get this one. You can at least get the two on the sides at the moment. You cannot get the one in the back, however. So we're going to get these two, which are actually the less important ones. It's the one in the back that we're going to want the most anyway. Let's see if I can trick out the camera here. There we go. And let's go. Oh, excuse me. Let's try that again. This should work. Perfect. All right. Let's see what there was in this treasure chest. And it's a steel fist sake. Man, I love those. And give me this key. Which I can take with me through the rest of this cave. Let's see what else lies in store. Let's head on through here and across this brick. Uh oh, that's not good. That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no, maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten porkushi first, has he? Well, we better hurry if we want to find out for ourselves. Come on, guys, we gotta get this cave finished in this episode. Let's do this thing. So. I'm going to head over this way as fast as I possibly can. There is a door. Let's open her up. Skewered in the face. What lies inside is a room full of sand. Interesting. So we got a clover up here that I can wall jump to. And this is going to net us five preys, as do most clovers in this part of the game. So let's jump on down now. And this is a bit fun. Okay, very fun. We got this ball that we can only push by headbutting it, and it does not obey the laws of physics at all when it comes to going up hills. That's okay. It's fine. We don't need that. 
Now, thankfully, this puzzle's a bit forgiving. If you ever knock it off the edge, it responds pretty close to where it fell, so that bit's not hard. Now, if you power slash this guy, it shows you a little hint. If wind blows by, you can see that there is a hidden sand path. However, we don't need to slash his eye every time to do it. I thought I saw a path for a second when the wind blew by. So now we can use the power of wind on our own. I'm going to knock that right off the cliff, and thankfully it's going to respawn right there. And see the path for myself. Let's hit it this way and go right over that hole, please. Okay, 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 okay. go. Perfect. All right, right over that skull. Now let's just posi uh, position. That could have been bad. Okay. No. Oh! Oops. I knew I wasn't in a good spot to begin with. That's okay though. I only lost my godhood and knocked that ball into the sand. Or did I? Is there like a? Hold on. There we go. That works. Okay. Yeah, this is. De I would say of all of the ball pushing puzzles in this entire game, this one is by and far the most frustrating. Like, like the rest of them are pretty tall. I mean, at least of the required ones. This one's pretty tolerable, honestly. It's not. I mean, it's still hard. It's definitely the hardest of the required ones, but it's still not that bad. Like, like that didn't take me a lot of time at all. Come on. Now all the lanterns that shaped like that are now lit throughout the entire dungeon. We're also about to get the moon cave map right here. Um, and now we can go back and we can open up that treasure chest that was in that room across the bridge. However, there's one more thing I want to show here. Uh, well, actually two more things. There's this clover that we can dig up for another five praise. But what's more important is what lies in this hole. And I missed that. As we're falling quickly. Yes, there's a secret room down here and it contains, actually it contains nothing right here, but if we go up ways there is da, 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 a treasure chest let's open this thing up and it contains a pearl so let's head on through this by cherry bombing through the wall man I'm gonna challenge myself I think I got six minutes left to finish this video and finish no sorry finish this cave but let's see if we can do it so that in mind I'm actually gonna cut over to uh, the other room where where the bridge is and uh, see if I can go and get that treasure chest real quick. So see you guys in a second. And now that we are finally here, let's open this thing up. This is a very important item if you don't have one of these already, but it's nice to get one because they're not easy to come by at this point in the game. Exorcism Slip L. Very, very useful to have right now. Trust me, you want one. But, still have one more ingredient to find. Where that is, well, let's keep looking. I want to see if we can find it very, very quickly. So, let's head over this direction, and we're going to head... Actually, let me see if I can do this. Uh, I probably can't make that jump, so screw it. We're just going to have to head through this way and go through the other side. So let's just run across this room really quickly. Not like it's a hard thing to do anyway. And there's a merch. There's actually a merchant up there that we can go say hi to. So do that and actually he sells I believe the infinity judge if for some reason you don't have it already and if you don't you're an idiot for not getting it because it's so useful to have at this point in the game plus reflectors are the best weapons in the game not I mean not insulting your intelligence or anything but you really should have one and if you didn't get one before well this is your chance so yeah he has the infinity judge he has other things um, alongside that but I'm just gonna sell my treasures to him because I like making money and not using my money all right, based on stuff like that. So there's also a Konohana Blossom that we can get here. But more importantly, is the Konohana Blossom up here. Let's vine up. And continue over this way. And this one has two banners that we can work our way across. But we don't necessarily have to. I completely missed. Okay, once more with feeling. Let's actually change the camera a little bit so we don't miss our jumps. There we go. Okay, so we have ourselves a cannon here. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to light this fuse so that it goes off at the right angle. And that should actually do it right there. So just make sure you light the, flu the fuse ahead of time. And now, just jump across to the corner of the blossom, which should take you all the way over here. And this is the room we want to head into. Now this one, oh no, it's got really... Wait, hold on, first there's a fight, that's right, I forgot about that. Black Imp, uh, meaning free demon fangs, let's see if I can select all the skulls, perfect. And down he goes, that was super quick. 
Look at how fast we tear him up with our infinity judge. I love this weapon. It is the most valuable weapon in the entire game because of the duration you have it for. Now, oh no, more ball pushing. Ah, uh, use wind. Uh, it totally, perfectly telegraphs where you're supposed to go. Not to mention you're not supposed to put it on a switch or anything. You're just supposed to lead it there somewhere so you can use the fire. It's easy. Anyone who complains about this part can shut up because this is not even a hard part. Like, seriously. Fire. Oh no, you have to push it with wind. Uh, you don't even have to get it to land on a switch. It's not hard. And, oh no, I lost my ink. Crap. Uh, it's alright. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm just going to bring the fire over here. And I don't think it's going to keep that one thawed for long enough. But hopefully I can get over there in time. Oh, excuse me. Not if I do that though. Crap. I got that at least. Holy bone end. Now the other one's going to totally disappear in time. So, now that that's back to ice for some reason, I don't know how it froze so quickly, it's not that cold in here, I wouldn't think. We can get ourselves some lacquer, our uh, lacquerware set, and now let's head into that area we just burned through a minute ago, which contains a double gate. Oh boy. We got ourselves two red imps here. Let's take care of these fools as fast as possible, and oh, don't touch the skulls either. That's another thing. Just touching the skulls inflicts damage upon you too, so be careful um, involving when it, regarding that. Let's see if I can actually get these two, and I'm going to lose my ink, but that is okay. Waiting for my ink to replenish. And let's hit him. Go down, sir. You're almost dead. Don't spank your butt at me. That is inappropriate. There are children watching. Ugh. Despicable. For some reason, I cannot break through pots with my divine instruments that are meant for killing things. But yet I can with my head. Let's open up the treasure chest. And we have the last ingredient. The black demon horn. So. Let's go rendezvous with Ajimi and... I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that. You think I'm going to comment on that? I'm not going to give you that, that gratification. No, you're not going to get that out of me. Uh-uh. I, I know you'd like to. But it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're just... No, you're not getting anything out of me. Just, just leave it be. It's it's not happening, buddy. You're just going to have to deal with it. So, just... Just... Be quiet. Don't even say anything. I don't need to hear it. Anyways, there's a treasure chest over here. If you melt, um, burn th or melt through that and activate the Divine Spring. There's also two treasure chests that have popped up, I believe. Uh, one that is encased in ice, and then the other one that is not encased in ice. This one, I believe, has a golden peach, and then the other one, I believe, has a bullhorn in it. So, that's good for selling, I guess. And I did not want to go in you again. Whoa, holy crap, fetal position in midair. And no, it actually gets Kutani pottery. That sells for a lot. Okay, that's good. Anyways, into the kitchen we go, and Ajimi, 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 I have your ingredients. That is not the kitchen. You know what? Actually, that's fine, though, because there is something over here I forgot anyway. Hello, morons. Let me just give me my parting gift. Okay. So there's one thing I almost forgot, and I want to grab it because, again, we can never return to this dungeon after we are done with it, so we're going to want to head over here. And do you remember this frozen chest that I showed you a few episodes back? Well... We can now access it with our new firepower. So let's melt through it. And I don't even think it's anything really all that great. Yeah, it's an exorcism slip S. But it's one more exorcism slip S that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So might as well grab it while you're here. Let's go through the golden gate for the fourth time or something like that. It's completely useless. And let's just say hi to the boys real quick and continue on our merry way. Now into the kitchen we go. Jimmy, I need to talk to you. And uh, this episode has definitely dragged past where I wanted it to drag, but you know what? I'm gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I know exactly where I want to end this episode, and this is not where I want to end this episode. So, let's go up here and give him the stuff he wants. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the thicker ingredients. Ah, oh, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. It was nothing. Anyways, we're kind of in a hurry. So we offered the Ogre Liver, the Lips of Ice, the Eyeball of Fire, and the Black Demon Horde. Even if we were really in a hurry, you wouldn't have volunteered to do this. 
each secret ingredient, I add my love for Lord Orochi Shotiba. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. And so, we see the masterful art of Ajimi, the greatest chef in all of Nippon, as he gracefully throws the four ingredients into the pot, and it turns purple! The end. Ta-da! Introducing the... Something of all appetizers, I skipped over that. Guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece, Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. I still make that main course kushi taste a thousand times better. Uh, yes, I would like to have the kushi with a side of fries. Okay, anyways. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean Bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer at the feast. Sound that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast, and you actually have to do it eight times. So, we're gonna do that. Now, here's the thing. That would have all made sense if we were going up with the appetizer or something to go up to see Orochi. But no, we're not. We're not at all. We're just, we just made the appetizer for him. That's it. That's all there was to it. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is just Isun being an idiot and wasting our time. It's okay though. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried. Whatever. Just ring that eight times. And the barrier goes away. And in comes the platter. I wish you could actually see what it looks like, but no, you just get to see the platter that covers the appetizer. Which I think is look, it looks kind of cool, honestly. It kind of reminds me, like, it makes me think of, like, a giant, like, like a fat person with, like, a stomach tattoo. With, like, a huge, like, just lying down, but now, but they have no head or arms or legs. Like, it's just their belly. I don't know. That's what makes me think of it. Anyways. Hi, you. Phew, that sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. There's something about that place that just terrifies me. Even me, a bad guy. Uh, sorry, pal, but would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? What? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. But we're just Lord Orochi's lowly underlings. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Really want to go? Yeah, of course. I want to save Kushi. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want to go that bad. So what was the point of making the appetizer, Eastern? Was it just for fun? Is that what we spent our whole time doing? I mean, I guess it did get rid of the barrier, but come on, man. You're an idiot. Guess it's better than sitting around and waiting, too. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a merchant here that you can still buy the Infinity Judge from if you want to. You have a Golden Gate. But other than that, this is the Squirtle King. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Okami very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.